tens of thousands of people show up. But I think it's very important. And then I may go a second time, depending on how they're doing. I may go a second time. But they're two, they're two really good people. Yeah, yeah, please, go ahead. President, if the Electoral College votes for Joe Biden on December 14th, will that affect the Republican primary? And if so, will that affect It's going to be a very hard thing to concede, because we know there was massive fraud. So as to whether or not I can get this apparatus moving this quickly, because time isn't on our side. Everything else is on our side. Facts are on our side. This was a massive fraud. This should never take place in this country. We're like a third world country. We have machines that nobody knows what the hell they're looking at. I mean, you take a look at all the mistakes they made. Look at even Georgia. Look at all the mistakes they made. And that, all that was is a simple, you press a button. Look at, look at Georgia, all the, all the votes they found just by going, and I said they shouldn't even do it because it doesn't mean anything. They're doing a recount right now in Georgia that is meaningless. The only recount that matters in Georgia is to look at the signatures on the envelope, and you will find that those signatures do not match the people that were many of them, hundreds of thousands of them, hundreds of thousands, and I only lost by 12,000 votes. I didn't lose. I didn't even like to say I lose. I only... Uh, I guess we're 11 or 12,000 votes short. That's out of millions and millions of votes. They just got it over the line. And one of the things that happened, I, I did so well, and I was told this in two other states, that they didn't know what to do. They panicked. Take a look at their drops at 3 o'clock and 3.42 in the morning on certain states. They did drops where you're going along like this, and then you have a spike that goes up to the ceiling at that. It's disgraceful. We can't let that happen. And I will tell you, in Philadelphia, the Republicans, that state house Republicans, are very, very upset. And it's sort of appropriate because Philadelphia has become very activist. If you look at what's going on, they don't want that to happen to uh, Pennsylvania, to the state of Pennsylvania. And it was, uh, I, don't, I don't even like to use, it was a rigged election. Well, if they do, they made a mistake because this election was a fraud. Just so you understand, this election was a fraud. I mean, they have Biden beating Obama on Obama's vote in areas that mattered in terms of the election, in swing states. And yet he's losing to Obama all over the place. But he's beating Obama in swing states, which are the states that mattered for purposes of the election. So, no, I can't say that at all. I think it's a it's a possibility. They're trying to look between you people. Don't ask, don't talk to me that way. You're just a you're just a lightweight. Don't talk to me that way. Don't talk to I'm the president of the United States. Don't ever talk to the president that way. All right, I'm going to go with another question. Go ahead. So if, if the electoral college does elect President Joe Biden, are you not going to leave this building? Just so you um, certainly I will. Certainly I will, and you know that. But. I think that there will be a lot of things happening between now and the 20th of January. A lot of things. Massive fraud has been found. We're like a third world country. We're using computer equipment that can be hacked. They talk about glitches. How many glitches did they find? So a glitch. Oh, gee, we had a glitch. 5,000 votes. In all cases, right? In all cases, the votes went from Trump to Biden. They didn't go from Biden. The glitches were never from Biden to Trump. So they had many glitches, and they said, oh, we had a glitch. That, a glitch is like the equipment is a little broken, we'll fix it up. No, a glitch is, in this case, we caught them cheating. We caught them stealing. We caught a fraudulent effort to get votes. And they said, oh, yes, it's true, it, there was, but, and there were many of them. But, but here's the problem. There were probably 10, 20, 30 times that didn't get caught. We just got lucky and caught numerous of them but what that is is very simple if you look at the glitch the glitch means right it means oh we got caught we got caught with the votes and now let's just call it a glitch it wasn't the machinery and by the way the machinery if you look just take a look anywhere on the internet you will see many many people where they're experimenting with this stupid machinery where if you set it a certain way the votes go from trump to biden if you look at these counties, if you look at Arizona, where I was going to win very easily, uh, I've had uh, the biggest politicians in Arizona say there was no way you lost Arizona. There's no way I lost Pennsylvania with his anti-fuel uh, and 
with his anti-fracking and all of the things that they stand against. There was no way. Now, Texas, you all said that I was going to lose Texas by a lot, four points. I won Texas by eight or nine points, right? 